so Gillingston and Rosencrantz go to it. Why, man? They did make love to this employment. They are not near my conscience. Their defeat does by their own insinuation grow. Tis most dangerous when the baser nature comes between a pass and fell and sensed points of mighty opposites. It must be shortly known to him from England what is the issue of the business there. I'm very sorry, good Horatio, that two Laertes I forgot myself. But in, in the image of my cause, I see the very portraiture of his. I'll court his favor, sure. But the bravery of his grief did put me into a towering passion. Peace, who comes here? Your lordship is right welcome back to Denmark. I humbly thank you, sir. Dost know this waterfly? No, my good lord. Sweet lord, if your lordship were at leisure, I should impart a thing to you from his majesty. I will receive it with all diligence of spirit. Dear lord, his majesty had bade me signify to you that he hath laid a great wager on your head. Sir, here's the matter. I beseech you remember. Nay, in good faith for mine ease, in good faith. One newly come to court, Laertes. Oh. Believe me, an absolute gentleman full of excellent differences, a very soft society, and great showing. So his defilement suffers no perdition in you. Oh, then you are not ignorant to what excellence Laertes is. I dare not confess that, lest I should compare with him in excellence. But to know a man well were to know himself. I mean, sir, for his weapon, of the imputations laid on him by them, but in his meed he's unfellowed. Now what is his weapon? A rapier and dagger. <coughs> That's two of his weapons, but well. <laughs> My lord, his majesty hath laid that. In a dozen passes between your and him, he shall not exceed you three hits. He's laid on twelve for nine, and it should come to immediate trial if your lordship vouchsafe the answer. I will walk here in the hall. If it please his majesty, it is the breathing time of day with me. Let the foils be brought, the gentleman willing, and the king hold his purpose. I will win for him if I can. If not, I will gain nothing but my shame and the odd hits. I commend my duty to your lordship. Yours, yours. He does well to commend it to himself. There are no tongues else for his turn. You will lose this wager, <clears throat> my lord. I do not think so. Since he went into France, I have been in continual practice. I'll beat him at the odds. Thou wouldst not think how ill all hears about my heart. No matter. Nay, my good lord. It is a foolery. It is a kind of gain giving as would perhaps trouble a woman. If your mind dislike anything, obey it. I will forestall the repair hither and say you're not fit. Not a whit. We defy augury. There's a special providence in the fall of a sparrow. If it be now, tis not to come. If it be not to come, it will be now. If it be not now, yet it will come, the readiness is all. Since no man has all of what he leaves, what is to leave the times? Come, Hamlet. Come, and take this hand from me. Give me your pardon, sir. I have wronged you, but pardon it as you are a gentleman. This presence knows, and you must needs have heard how I am punished with sore distraction. And what I have done that might your honor, nature, and exception roughly awake, I hereby proclaim was madness. Was Hamlet wrong, Laertes? Never Hamlet. Who does it then? His madness. If it be so, Hamlet is of the faction that is wronged. His madness is poor Hamlet's enemy. Sir, in this audience, let my disclaiming from a purposed evil Free me so far in your most generous thoughts that I have shot my arrow over the house and hurt my brother. I am satisfied in nature, whose motive in this case should stir me most to my revenge. But in my terms of honor I stand aloof and will no reconcilement till by some elder masters of known honor I have a voice and precedent of peace to keep my name on gourd. But till that time, I do receive your offered love like love, and will not wrong it. I receive it freely, and will this brother's wager frankly play? Come, bring us the foils. Come, one for me. I'll be your foil, Laertes. You mock me, sir. No, by this hand. Cousin Hamlet, you know the wager. 
Very well. Your grace has laid the odds on the weaker side. I do not fear it. I have seen you both, but since he is bettered, we have therefore odds. This one's too heavy. Let me see another. And this one likes me well. The foils are all awake. Aye, my lord. The king shall drink to Hamlet's better breath. And in the cup, an union shall he throw richer than that which four successive kings and Denmark's crown have worn. Come, begin. And you, the judge, bear a wary eye. Come, sir. Come, my lord. <clears throat> One! No! Judgment? A hit. A very palpable hit. <laughs> well, again! Stay. Give me a drink. Hamlet, this pearl is thine. Here's to thy health. Give him the cup. I will play this bout first. Set it by a while. Touch a touch, I do confess. Our son shall win. Come, Hamlet, take my neck and rub thy brow. The queen carouses to thy fortune, Hamlet. Good madam. Go to, do not drink. I will, my lord. I pray you, pardon me. It is the poison cup, it is too late. I do not drink yet, madam. Set it by a while. Come, come. Let me wipe your face. My lord, I shall hit him now. I don't think it. Yet tis almost against my conscience. Come, for the third Laertes. You but dally. I pray, pass with your best violence. I'm afeard you make a wanton of me. Say you so. Nothing, neither way. Have it you now! Put them aside! Hey, come oh, again! Not to the queen there, ho! Oh. Besides, how is my lord? How is it, Lear? This woodcock to my own spring, Osric. I am justly killed by mine own treachery. How's the queen? She swoons to see them bleed. Oh, no, no! The drink, the drink. Oh, my dear Hamlet, the drink. I am poisoned. Oh, treachery! Slug the door! Villainy seek it out! It is here, Hamlet! Hamlet, thou art slain! The treacherous instrument is in thy hand, unbated and in venom! Foul practice hath turned itself on me! Oh, here I lie, never to rise again! My mother's poison! I can no more! The king! The king's to blame! The point in venom, too! And venom to thy work! Ah, treason! Ah, treason! Oh! Yet help me! Friends, I am but hurt! Oh. Here! Thou incestuous, murderous, damned Dane! Drink off thy potion! Is thy union here? Follow my mother! He's justly served. He's a poison tempered by himself. Exchange forgiveness with me, noble Hamlet. Mine and my mother's death come not on thee, nor mine on me. I will make thee free of it. I follow thee. You that look pale and tremble at this chance, who are but mute your audience to this act, had I but time, <clears throat> oh, I can tell you. Let it be. Oh, Horatio, I am dead. If thou didst ever hold me in thy heart, I've sent thee from felicity a while, and in this harsh world, draw thy breath in pain to tell my story. The rest is silence. Good night, sweet prince. Flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. Our wills and fates do so contrary run that our devices still are overthrown. Our thoughts are ours. Their ends 
none of our own. 